inclusion of local government and regional development, agency 13, program 131 main office. I recognize all the member, Mr. Bulkan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, might I respectfully direct the Minister's attention to line item 6116, contracted employees for which the proposed budgetary allocations have been increased by a sum of uh, $4.6 million, and for which the staff has been increased by a number of two. Um, my questions to the Honourable Minister is, could you kindly uh, provide the designation and the monuments of these two new employees, as well as the rationale, per se? I did ask uh, one of the ministers for the rationale for trying to do stuff. The rationale is the positions for vacant. So, is the honorable minister saying that he did not have a patriarchal secretary? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chairman, in 2013 there was only one and we needed two. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the same line item. Would the Honorable Minister be kind enough to provide the designation as well as monuments for the top three officials in this category? The top three positions will be permanent secretary, basic salary $500,000 per month, followed by the deputy permanent secretary $465,375, followed by the Hitler coordinator $399,946. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister. Follow up, please. Uh, would the Honorable Minister kindly state why the entire staff compliment uh, on the display today? All, se all 17 employees are contract employees and not members of the traditional public service. Mr. Speaker, 
Mr. Chairman, I refer to the entire program, all of the like items, and uh, I crave your indulgence to refer to the to the Constitution, uh, the document which the Honorable Attorney General is want and fond of quoting. We all should be actually. It's all Constitution. Uh, in which he uh, usually describes as being supreme. In particular, I refer to Chapter 7, which contains Article 71 to 78B. It is titled Local Democracy and it has a subtitle Local Democratic Orders. With your permission, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to read one. I'm a member of you, but we are to put questions on like items. That is what it is. Mr. Speaker, it has to do with the entire. 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 I can allow you to maybe make a statement, but to cross our debate on the Constitution. It's not a debate. If you will, please, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chairman. Article 75 of the Constitution says this, and if you'll allow me to read it. That Parliament shall provide that local democratic orders shall be autonomous and take decisions which are binding upon their agencies and institutions and upon the communities and citizens of their areas. Okay, we will let here. You must, you must not be making this difference in a vacuum. You yes. must be making it for a reason. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Yes. And I'm referring now to the, the program objective of this program, which is program 131. And this is what it says on page 79. <coughs> that the objective of this program is to ensure the successful implementation of the ministry's plans policies and development programs in accordance with good governance and it goes on. So the constitution tells us that the plans, the development plans have to be those of the RDC and of the local democratic organs. The, the program objective here tells us that it's the, it's the ministry's plans and programs. My question to the Honourable Minister. My question to the Honourable Minister, um, Mr. Chairman, is in inviting this Honourable House to proceed along this path, are we being asked to operate contrary to the Constitution? In fact, to violate the Constitution? Honourable members, I. I would not expect the Minister to answer, but if he wishes to me, quite frankly, not a right to answer that question. It's not a question that arises out of the consideration of the estimates for 2014. Minister, you may indicate your wish. But you don't focus on this. No, I don't believe that that is an appropriate question for the consideration of minutes. Quite frankly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. No further questions. Very well. I recognize Dr. Amaya and Mr. Trotman. Mr. Chairman, I'm kindly asked the minister and the contracted uh, employees how many of those people are about 65 years? There's many contracted work about 65 years. Mr. Chairman, the answer is zero. My next question then. Go ahead. Mr. Chair, 6281 Security Services. I have seen here $3.4 million increase in security services. Can the minister please explain to us how many additional security uh, was employed and for what reason? The number of security guards were increased, indicated for the minister. The number of guards were night. I recognize after, sorry, Mr. Trotman and then Mr. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I want to draw a piece of the paper that I gave this other person. One, no problem, subsistence. I know, Mr. Chairman, the amount spent, the amount spent in 2030, the 
said to some million two hundred thousand. Can you say what purpose the, this head solves in relation to the activity that's supposed to be done? Mr. Chairman, this is under this particular idea that it's part of our travel both by road and by river. Communities met. Mr. Felix, sir. Sorry. Follow up question, Mr. Paul. Hello. Um, I know the minister's answer, but he did not say if this problem is done by administrative officials only. Yes. Chairman, this is program one, main office. Yes, that's yes. yes. Mr. Trump, Mr. Felix, sir. Mr. Speaker, my name is follow up to Dr. Myers. Who is the service provider? Which is this? Is security? Yes. Strategic action security. Oh, God. Oh, well, that's not the next to Ms. Ferguson. Thank you. And I see Mr. Carver. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, I would like to draw the Minister's attention to line item 6265. I have noticed in 2013 you would have spent less than what was actually budgeted for, but in 2014 you have an increase. Can you explain the reason for this, sir? Thank you. Thank you, Governor Chairman. Um, for Rock 1, 6265, 
Minister of Explanation is that it is due to the increased visit to the regions. Could the Minister explain what has occasioned these new increased visits? Chairman, I did indicate earlier that the Ministry has determined the need to intensify our reaches in the communities for the purpose of engaging the residents, you know, the part of the, the, the budget process, engaging residents and also monitoring projects, etc.
Honourable members, I propose that we consider them. I put the question that we adopt the estimate stated for program 132. Those in favour say aye. Aye. Those against say no. These can't be part of the estimate. Please turn the page. Uh, 424, that I propose your consideration. The capital, the capital expenditures for program 132, Ministry of Administration. 424. Honourable members, I will put the question, and that is, sorry, Ms. Lawrence. Go ahead. Yeah. 